Hello. I'm looking at you guys through my camera over here, but I'm recording over here. So obviously you can see that well, I'm in a different location. I'm feeling a lot better, and I have some a puppy under my desk. And you guys see that I'm in a different location. I think I just said that. I'm in the same location, just I've moved, or my husband moved my whole craft room around. Okay, so a quick update. It's late, as always. Ah, sorry for the ugly yawn. <laughs> Okay, let's get this moving. Um, went to the doctors. I went to a heart specialist, and I was cleared. Um, with the EKG came clear. My heart's healthy. Uh, what else did they take? Oh, give me a second. That's 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 my Facebook, and I'll answer that later. Um. That's Stacy calling me. I'll call her back in a little bit. This won't take too long. So anyways, I was cleared. My EKG came back clear. My heart came back clear. And my, what other one? Ultrasound came out clear. So let's make this a little short. I know that a lot of you guys are interested in, and in, in actually care to know what's going on with me. I, I'm going to do fine. I still, we still haven't figured out what's going on with my ear. Um, but we definitely had my heart checked, and I'm clear on that. I'm good. Uh, a lot of a lot of things seem to be um, psychological, which not my ear and not my uh, what are, arteries. I think not my ear, not my arteries, but my heart out of breath kind of thing. You, if you guys have watched my channel for a long time, have known that um, I've been through a lot. We, this whole little family's been through a lot, and um, my body was basically psychologically giving up on me, and anyways, I'll get more in depth with that uh, in another time, because I'm not too clear-minded right now with some, with talking about that right now, but just wanted to come, come in and let you guys know that I'm doing well. I'm doing very well, actually. Um, and I'll be calling my doctor Monday, my primary doctor, to see what else we're going to do um, in order to get my ear situation. And I don't have tentinitis. I've known that I don't have tentinitis for many years. I do have a um, something wrong. Um, I don't know the exact name. I haven't looked on my paper yet. But there is an issue going on with uh, calcifying arteries. So that's my next step, but my first step was to find out what was going on with my heart and my breathing and skipping beats and all of that stuff, but uh, it seems like a lot of it had to do with stress and psychological and needing to exercise some more and just the mere fact that I got the, I am a little out of breath, but yeah, we'll get to, I'll me and my doctors will get to the bottom of that, but my heart's clear, and um, I'll, I'll update you guys some more on that. But what I came here after three minutes and 53 seconds of giving you a very short little bit brief about how I'm doing. I'm not recording also because my husband is sweet, and he's redoing my, not my whole room, but half of my room. He's um, installing these cabinets, and he's organizing. He's doing all of that. I'm not doing much of it. Um, he's really good at it, so I'm going to let him do that. Um, so I don't have my ta my table's not covered, and I need to have my table covered before I start arting. And as soon as I get my table cover um, with some kind of vinyl, like some kind of clear vinyl is what I want to cover my whole table with, and as soon as I get my camera back set up, because right now you guys are on a little webcam. And I don't even have my laptop. I'm using a different laptop right now also. Um, as soon as I get my camera set up, the way I'm used to getting it set up, as soon as I get all of my paintbrushes, I, I have some paints back there. 
right now. But I don't have my paintbrushes out. I don't have my papers. I don't have a lot of things that I utilize. And my husband installed a, what is that? And uh, uh, one of those cords, what are they called? Extension cords that will pop if it needs to pop while I'm using my heat gun because me not being able to use a heat gun because um, I throw off the, the electricity in the house every time I use my heat gun, I stop using my heat gun, but that stopped me from doing a lot of things that I want to do with you guys. A lot of videos I want to do that I need the heat gun for. Because if I don't have my heat gun, the process is days and days and days of waiting for paint to dry and recording the little 15 minutes I could and then let that paint dry and then recording it again and letting that paint dry. It's just, it's just too much of a process of recording when I really just want to get it, get my whole thoughts and my, my inspiration down within an hour or two. So that's that. So we put in that what is it called? An electric strip? I'm not even sure. So just when I'm using my heat gun again, and if it wants to um, overpower, I don't even know right now, something, it will pop the electric strip instead of putting us all in the dark. I lost my brain. Sorry. It happens when I record. Um, what else? What else? I made, I'm making things. I'm making things and selling things so to um, people who are me messaging me and are interested in buying things. I'm making boho beads and I'm selling boho beads. And it just depends on the, te the detail that it has and then the price. Like something like this would probably be 10 because you can do so much with this. You can hang this from necklace, earrings, charm, so many things. So that something like that's 10. These here are four. And then I have uh, some other ones that are more intricate that are five. So I'm doing that on the side. But after seven minutes and 23 seconds, well, actually, I think I will upload this. I hear the... the Sounds like a car chase, possibly. I don't know. So much going on in the world. But anyways, and so much going on in my little world. But I'm feeling better. I am, You can tell by me not trying to catch my breath. Which is wonderful. And I've been very, 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 very active. Um, after I got the, the pass of, your heart's okay. You're good. Stop psychologically messing with yourself. That's just with the, my heart, okay? Um, anyway, it seems like they told me something's wrong with my heart. Psychologically, I started messing with myself and all my stress from the past and all the stress from the future, from the present day, really got to me. And um, I am um, thanks everybody for all your positiveness. Thank you so very much. So. Hope you guys are having a very creative, wonderful day. I cannot wait to get back on and start creating. Although I'm creating little things here and there. And it's funny because I'm actually a little more creative now that I barely have, like, what tools do I have? I have my little tool, this little tool, <laughs> and this tool. And I have my wire and some of these that I've pre-made. I have some slices and pieces of paper, random pieces of paper floating around. I have some happy mail right here that I'm going to share with you guys in the next video. And I have some random beads and some random pieces of paper. And from those little things and the most simplest things that I have available to me, I'm actually creating quite a lot. The only problem is I don't have my camera. I don't have my tripod. None of that. Um, so I am creating, but I can't wait to get back and share with you guys and not teach you guys, but inspire you guys. I say that and I've always said that and I'll continue saying that. And I totally believe in that quote that I, I say is, I'm not here to teach, I'm here to inspire. And you guys have a wonderful day and thank you. Thank you for all the great and good energy you guys sent me, all the prayers it all worked. It all worked. You guys got your your secret back and 
I'll come back soon. So you guys might have to give me like maybe a week, week and a half before I'm up and running again. But um, an artist never stops creating uh, even if they have really little. Okay. Art is therapy and art has been therapy for me for from day one. 20 years ago, 25 years ago, it's art is therapy. And I'm still creating with even the minimal amount of things just to be me. It's it's me. It's who I am. Other than being a mother and being uh, a wife and a house, house taker and all of that stuff. I don't take houses, though. I mean a house care. What is it called? Homemaker. <laughs> Aside from that, 100%, it all involves me being creative. So, keep yourselves happy, create, and be inspired. And leave me some messages, some questions, some answers. Give me answers. Give me the answers. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.